Hello everyone, I am Uluwak Polomi Arushai. In this video, I'm going to take you through how you can do a sum with condition. So I come to the case study over here. So there are two questions that I have here that I will answer one and then I will show you how to answer one and then you also answer one by yourself. So it's saying which region is generating more revenue for the business. That is, we want to see the region that is generating more revenue for the business. So, which is what I have under exercise one. So, the first thing I need to do is to get the list of region from this content that I have here. So, as you can see, my data is currently in a table where I can find table design here. So, how do I get the distinct values of the region? So, I'm going to use the unique function. So a new function just asking for array, I go under my content and then I highlight everything that I have here. I close the brackets and then I hit enter. So now I have the list of the region under my data. So the next thing for me, okay, now is to get the revenue for each of the region. And how will I get that? So I'm going to use a sum if function because yeah it's a condition okay revenue for this particular region revenue for this particular region so i'm going to use some if so and then if you can see we have some if and we have some ifs so the difference between both is some if can only take one condition why some ifs can take more than one condition so i can use any of them so i'll make use of some if so now for some if i have three um, arguments that I need to fill in but two are mandatory so how do I know what is range what is criteria what is some range so I'm going to make use of what we call the function argument the function argument so how do I activate the function argument so I press my shift f3 so when I press shift f3 it's going to bring the function argument so I can see what we are talking about here so the first one is saying range so range is the cell is the range of cell you want evaluated is the range of cell you want evaluated so this aspect you want to evaluate the region so i go under my content to highlight the list of regions that i have there after then he's asking for criteria he's saying that out of this region that i've selected which one do i want to work on first so which is what i have there which is the notes so i select the nodes so after selecting the nodes i go to my sum range sum range is in our actual cells to sum if omitted the cell in the range are used so what i want to sum is the revenue so i go under my table and then i select revenue i select revenue so i highlight everything and then even immediately if i go out of this i will see my result which is the formula result as you can see for this particular region we have fifteen six thousand nine hundred dollars as the revenue so i click on ok so when i do ok i can just double tap this to populate for the rest so this is how you get the revenue for each region and this is actually dynamic is actually dynamic so let's say for example i had another region for instance so if i had another region for instance let's say this is 201 and then i have this date as 29th then 2024 and then i wrote okay let's say we have a region called west 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 for instance and then the product category can be electronics i can also do this gaming console how many quantity to quantity and then we have one thousand dollars so here will be two thousand dollars and then the payment method let's say cash so let's say cash so now to confirm if my formula is working or not so when i come here so as you can see the west west populate automatically so what i just need to do is just to fill in this and then i have the result so that way it's dynamic i don't need to come back to start putting the region again myself so in as much as i've used unique function on that table it works so this is all about the video so what i want what i want you to do now is okay answer the second question so what product category is generating more revenue for 
the business so then put your answer in the comment section i hope you learned something new from the video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel